All right, let's do a, a review of the mess uh, I had today. Um, when you look back at the recording, you hear me saying that uh, the market is so slow that I probably shouldn't trade it. I did trade it in demo though, just to see uh, what happens and gain some experience. So I made two trades and uh, they pretty much both failed. Let really go straight through. Uh, let me mute myself. Mm, probably not. There you go. Zero. So the first thing here is I'm looking for the... Um, I'm, I'm actually drawing it. This is like... Um, I'm not sure if it's here. Let me fast forward a bit. Oh, so I enter here. Because of the tentic. Um, is this a long or a short? Oh, this is a short because of the resistance level. I'm drawing it here right now. Put my order halfway to the downside. But uh, although that was news, the market uh, well, didn't really move now. And this one goes straight to my top. Um, Nasdaq is going up. The only reason I traded this is because of this candle. So yeah, that's probably uh, not a good qualifier on itself. I could have put placed my stop closer. That's something that I've been talking about today a lot. Just move it closer to the uh, entry. When you're wrong, you're wrong. So that's one thing to do. I could have done. Because this doesn't look really good right so far. So I could have saved some money there probably. My stop should have been here probably. So much closer. So yeah, this trade. Just going to fast forward a bit. Can I fast forward a bit? Yes, there you go. You see, uh, look, this is like t one minute in already. And it just moves so slow, so slow. It just keeps hanging there forever. It's just two minutes in a trade. Hoping it comes down, but the NASDAQ looks like it's still going up. And I'm still in the trade. It's taking forever. I took one stop, I think. Did I? I think I did by now. I was in four and still have two. So I'm still waiting. I'm kind of hoping for it to come down. So yeah, I could have been more aggressive on the exit there. Or better yet, don't trade at all. Probably. Well, for sure. Just wait for the open. So the lesson for me right now is that um, news on itself is not enough, right? But I was so ready for it. I make time to make it work, but... Yeah, that's not gonna work. It's funny though, it's the first time I actually see the uh, eye tracker from a different perspective, from a viewer perspective instead of my own eyes. So it's really clear how you, uh, where I look, right? And I'm looking at the NASDAQ and then the eye tracker doesn't work because it's on a different monitor instead of the center one. So I'm still in the trade, minus four, takes forever. <laughs> Still bouncing there. Four takes down. You can also see there's one hundred dollars, right? So yeah, I'm still holding it. Seven takes. So yeah, this trade. Let me fast forward a bit. Uh, boop. Still in the trade. That's like one minute later. I'm also like making funny noises because nothing happens. So this is minus three ticks. I could have moved my stop down to save me from a bigger loss. Yet I do not do that. The full trade, by the way, is in uh, is the previous video on the, on the channel. So you can see it in live action, but I don't really recommend watching it. Instead. Uh, only if you want to see like a uh, really slow market moving and how you not to trade. Okay, now it gets stopped out and then I wait for the resistance level, I guess. Let's see, I am place another trade about here. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so it breaks out, it breaks above this level, um, but only slightly. You can see it over here. But it does go after a while, and I'm still like, I would have never traded this normally. 
So that's kind of the mental state that I'm in. And then it just, uh, do, do, do. I'm waiting for it to break. And eventually it does, fast forward a bit. And there it goes. Boom, boom, boom. So NASDAQ is climbing, so that's, for me, is a good reason. But then I place my order and this is way too early. Should have waited for more confirmation to the upside instead of just hitting that exact spot. And I could have all, uh, also this, my, my stop could have been like two or three ticks because when you're wrong, you're wrong, right? So keeping it that low, that's like, mm. so I'm up one tick here contracts. I still have a second order waiting for, to uh, to be filled. But yet again nothing happens, it takes forever. And looking back at this I could have taken this profit which I already had a messed up trade so you want to make it make up for it right. So literally nothing happens. <laughs> this is the worst day ever for a pre-market trade. It's so slow. And then after the market actually opened, then the market went insane, bro. There was so much movement. So you kind of think maybe this is a prediction for the market, but it wasn't at all. So that's also a good lesson. Well, the market's... Uh, on the correlation chart are still climbing, so that's probably in my favor there. And now I break even. And now I get filled in the second one. And then we hope for it to climb. But let's fast forward a bit because nothing happens. It goes down. And then I should have had my stop at two takes probably. Because I was wrong anyway, so when you're wrong at five or six takes. Or two, that's of course two is a much better. Oh, I go in another time. I'm not sure if I get filled in this one. Let's see. I think that's a short, right? Yeah. The short is just based on the level and the price action. This is like the worst rates ever. It even goes down. Oh, that was it. Let's see, was that actually it? Was there more in the end? Oh, I don't get a fill and I stop the recording, I think. Because nothing really happens. Yeah. So I don't get a fill there. So those two trades are pretty bad. And um, yeah, the mental state was uh, pretty bad as well. Because it moves so slow. When you see the actual recording, it's. Uh, mm, I think I've talked about uh, the micros going to do that. And I'm probably going to do that on Monday because um, four people told me uh, that is a good idea right now and that never happened before. So that might be like a sign or signal to go um, to go do that. It's a really lovely cam shot though. <laughs> All right. So that's it for this review. Um, I'm never going to trade the news again when it doesn't move. This is just a trial and error. I haven't done this before. And the ES is so slow compared to the NASDAQ as well. So um, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to be smart about it and not trade. Just preserve some capital and wait for the actual action uh, during the uh, market open. Alright, see ya.